fresh off the bench. It's my deep sea aged marina. 47 millimeters of steel housing a freshly painted and baked dial. It's a two piece sandwich dial with a date at the three position with floating seconds at the nine position. The dial is split from dark to light with plenty of texture on the surface, almost resembling an alien planet surface. Even the date wheel was slightly discolored to match the watch's overall appearance. On the back, we have an old Russian case back. The whole case is polished with its various edges and grooves. Between the lugs, we have my homemade Savage strap and 26 millimeters. The case is not too thick considering we have a quartz movement inside and the crown guard holds secure and is tight and adds some width to the overall case. The case sits on the larger side, which these watches generally should do. In the sunlight, the dial colors pop right out. I really like how the dial turned out and it's a look that's a bit out of the box. It's vintage inspired pieces such as this that I enjoy putting together. And this is one of my more entry level, budget friendly models that tend to sell pretty fast. Now let's take a look at a few pieces that left the shop these past two weeks. First up was a stunning dress piece from Juvenia. It was the classic design with needle style hands and a sub second set to six position. A truly beautiful and elegant watch. The next piece was an experiment. It was a retro style piece with dual time displays with an aged dial. A very unique watch indeed with two quartz movements inside with needle style hands. Lastly, we had a Chronotac GMT root beer style. It was my first time working with this brand. While it's not as refined as a Tiger Concepts, I was able to give it a toasty appearance with true vintage fashion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thank you all for your continued support. Like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.